Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. As you can see, this background is my new room. So yeah, I am back at uni, it's very exciting. It's so good to be back and so weird to live like in a proper flat, not in halls, I don't know, it's just weird. If you want to see a bit more of this room, I did do a video, like a room tour, which went up like, um, I think like a month ago. You can go watch that if you are interested. So I did a video a few weeks ago um, about what clothes to bring to uni and and one of the requested videos in the comments was a like what's in my bag so today i'm gonna be doing what's in my university bag slash back to school supplies haul slash just like everything that i bought to prepare for the academic year i hope you enjoyed the video um if you like university content definitely stick around because there's gonna be so much coming up um love you and let's get started i'm gonna start with the things that i bought so yesterday i went to ryman i think i spent 30 pounds which is kind of a lot i mean no it's a lot like it hurt i'll show you what i got so i got four of these like kind of like wooden looking notebooks I think, there you go you can see it a bit better there so last year i wrote all my notes on paper like in a paper pad and then i had folders for all my classes and when i got home i would file it but what I found is that I would never open those or never look at them again just because it's like it's kind of hard to like keep it all in order and then it doesn't really read well because it's like you write like a paragraph on one page and then skip to a new page and you've written like two pages I don't know it's just like a bit of a mess is what I found so I'm trying out notebooks this year I think this will be better because it's a bit more like how you would write at school I mean actually at school we used folders but you know in the young years at school where you you write in like those books with the lines on the front yeah they had those in the shop but I didn't get them. I just think that it'll read easier and obviously I'm gonna have to carry these around because I'm gonna, I have four right now, I think I'm gonna be taking four classes in this semester, I'm not sure yet. Hopefully just one for each class and I will just kind of like write and then carry on where I left off at the next lecture and if I want to write notes at home and stuff I'll also use these. I just think that this is gonna be a bit nicer so yeah I think these were like five pounds each which to be honest really added up when I got four of them but hopefully it will be better if I like read through them more and like look over it and stuff then it'll be worth it and then it's just like normally lined inside and it has the little serrated bit here so if you want to tear it out um you don't have to like have all the little holes from these things so got those so the next thing I got is a just a pad of normal paper because even though I'm gonna try to do like 90% of my writing in these I will still need to write stuff that I don't know I feel like I'll still need normal paper as well for like rough notes or if I'm doing like a past exam or you know just things that you don't want to keep things that you normally just throw away afterwards so right in here this is just the cheapest one that they had next thing I got are record cards um so these are just like the flashcards that I use for revision these are literally the holy grail I have used these from GCSEs all the way till now and like I don't know I just think that they're like the best thing if they didn't exist I really don't know like what I would use obviously you can just cut paper into like the size this I'm not gonna open them but it's basically just this size and then lined and you can write on them so you can either write a question on the front and answer in the back or you can just fill the whole thing with like condensed notes if you like doing that I normally do a question and answer but like longer answers I'll do like one question and then an answer with like five points on the back it's easy to test yourself to make sure you like know everything um I haven't even said but I go to the University of Edinburgh and I study economics and maths and in economics we always have these tests like every five six weeks on the past five six weeks so I'm gonna try to keep on top of making these so that when I come to revising for the test I have them ready to go um yeah they're just really useful so and then I got some pens these are just paper mate ink joy ones inevitably these will run out soon i buy so many pens and they always run out these are the ones i went for they just i point pens i feel like they're gonna be nice and inky which is the best when they run out i will move on to the rubbish biros i have from last year but for now i have nice pens okay and then a couple other things that i have which i don't go don't go in my bag but still come under like uni stationery so i have black fine liners and also colored fine liners these are obviously it's everything in this video is just up to you like what your preference is but I really like these for revision um, like if I'm making notes or I don't know going through something sometimes I'll make notes even if I already have notes on that topic just to like re like read through something without just being like passively reading it so I like coloured pens for that I got these ones I think in like WH Smith or something these are kind of expensive not gonna lie 
I bought them because I had a voucher, but I also use them for like bullet journaling sometimes and just like, I don't know, keeping on track of things and yeah. So I also think that you should have a notebook. So this is a moleskin one, very fancy. My dad had one of these left over from like an event or something, so he gave it to me and I love this notebook, but I just have in here like to-do lists and i don't know i've also written here like what i'm grateful for and like written things some things down and i've written some goals in here as well oh but i just feel like it's good at uni to have like a notebook where you can just write down to-do lists or what you're feeling or i don't know just like get it out because i feel like at home i'm always just fine going along with like you know everyday life just kind of doing whatever but at uni i think it's really easy to get stressed and to lose like a routine and it's just it's just a hard time sometimes so i feel like a bit journaling can be great and this is such a cute really cute notebook so i won't carry this, carry this around in my bag but i really like it okay and then the very last thing which isn't in my bag is a clear pencil case you do need to have a clear pencil case at uni they're required in the exams feel free to use it for the whole year round a lot of people do that but i like to have a cute one for the year and then transfer everything in here um, just for exam season. Very self-explanatory, boring, clear pencil case. Okay, then on to the bag. So this is the bag that I am using. So this is the Lush Fighting Animal Testing Bag. Um, it's just a very high quality tote bag, like a canvas bag. It's made from 100% organic cotton. And then it's got like some recycle information below. So I think it's, it's good quality and it's like, Good for the environment, would recommend. I used this bag for like the second half of last year. At the beginning, I was using my Kankan backpack, but I just swapped out because honestly, I think it's kind of inconvenient to have to like take off a backpack, unzip it, take things out, and then pack everything back at the end. Because at school, it was fine because you have to be at school anyway, so you're like taking your time anyway. But like at uni, like you wanna leave or you have another class quickly after like i find that this is easier because i can just like stuff things in here so yeah and i think it also has probably a bit more room so that's the bag i use i feel like the actual bag you use doesn't matter too much um i just recommend something that's comfy to hold because obviously you're going to be walking around quite a lot so i have two textbooks i need to sell these to somebody because I don't need them anymore, they're from last year, but a couple of textbooks. I feel like 90% of the time, you don't usually need textbooks, just as a general thing. I've never needed them for like lectures or tutorials or anything. If you're doing work at uni, like if you're going to the library or sometimes you'll have one lecture and then like a two hour break and then another lecture. So you just stay and do work and you'll probably need textbooks for doing your work. It really depends. I know my boyfriend doesn't use doesn't even like buy the textbooks i think he just looks it up online or something when he needs them for my courses the textbooks were very vital so that would be another piece of advice like ask older years about your course like how vital the textbooks are um or if you can get away with just using like an online version or just taking it out of the library when you need it or something like that but most days i would have a textbook in my bag so here are a couple of textbooks next thing is a paper wallet this is obviously empty i really like this one I bought this last year from Ryman and the quality is really good. I was like, you know those like rubbishy ones that always break? This isn't one of those. So this is useful. Sometimes they'll give you out paper or like handouts or something. I think this happens more in tutorials for me. Like we'll be given something. This is going to be where I'm putting the papers and stuff so that they don't get like creased and everything on the way home. And then I will either, I might have one folder where I file stuff like that or I might like cut it and stick it in the book. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but this is useful no matter what, because you're always gonna have paper, especially like if you're printing something off and you wanna keep it flat, just would recommend one of these. They're not very expensive and make your work look more profesh. Next thing is my pencil case. So this is just a little white fake leather pencil case. This is actually like a travel bag from a flight, but yeah very cute so right so in here i have these cute little highlighters which are kind of inconvenient because they're like the pastel ones and when you draw the highlighting line at the end it leaves like a blob of ink because the ink color is so light 
I mean, I don't really care because they're really cute and I'm trying to actually get out my pencil case in lectures and stuff this year because last year I would just have like one pen in the bottom of my bag and I would just pull the pen out, like loose it, just write and then throw it back in the bag and not like take care with the notes and stuff. That's another reason why I got those brown books because I think I'll just take more care with them rather than a piece of paper. So I'm going to try and do some highlighting and this, these are also good for revision and like making notes and stuff like that. So I have these my calculator because I study econ and maths, a ruler for maths or to be honest I don't know if I've even used this I don't know maybe if I need to draw a straight line and then I just have pens, a pencil and a rubber for obviously writing you know that's what uni is all about next I have an umbrella this is self-explanatory it rains here all the time I always have this in my bag like I won't check the forecast or just have it always because like literally it rains so often that like that it's worthwhile to just always have it on you. Don't want to get caught out in the rain, especially at uni. You're normally walking everywhere, so good one if it rains where you go to uni. I have some headphones just for like, you know, time in between classes. Get bored if you're in the library. Sometimes it's kind of like if you want to work in like a cafe or something, um, this will like drown out the noise. So sometimes I'll just listen to music. Or if I'm walking around, right where I live is kind of a bit of a longer walk to last year. So if I'm just walking back from uni, to my flat then I'll probably listen to music past the time or maybe a podcast I've gotten so into podcasts oh my god please comment your podcast recommendations my top ones are delicious the Ella the guilty feminist uh what we said the girls bathroom I think those are my favorites so yeah please comment down below some more because I've been getting so into it almost there guys I have a charger because my phone started dying all the time I think it's because the new iPhone has been released Honestly, I literally feel like it's dying every 20 minutes. This is handy if I have a long day of like classes and then cheer. And I don't know, it's good to have charge on your phone just for like safety, even if you're not using it. So this is always charges in the library. So next I have a little tote bag just like scrumpled up at the bottom. So this one is one that the university gave me. I think when I came to tour the uni, like literally, I think like two years ago. Oh my God, wow. So that's crazy. But yeah, it's really, I really like this one, it just has like a picture of Edinburgh, the castle and stuff, it's really nice. This is very near where I used to live in the picture if you're wondering. And yeah, so this is useful for if I buy anything when I'm out, so for example, like if I go food shopping or if I like buy a textbook or like buy a new paper or something like that, I don't want to buy a plastic bag or use a plastic bag, like it's not good for the environment and you have to buy them anyway, so it's just a silly thing to do. So having this just at the bottom of my bag, like it takes up no room, but it's a lifesaver. Very useful and it means that you can just like go shopping or like buy stuff without, you know, a bit more spontaneously. So, and then the last two things are, have my like card holder. So this is important obviously for like buying things or usually I use Apple Pay to be honest. This is mostly important for my student card because that's what you need to like get into the library and to some of the buildings and stuff. So have that. And then I have my keys, which is obviously important to get into my flat. Oh my god, okay, that's everything that I have in the bag and everything that I bought for uni. I think the general takeaway from this video would be don't overbuy, just buy a few things. Like last year I bought folders and I didn't personally love that. But my flatmate, I was talking to her yesterday and she was like, yeah, I bought notebooks last year and this year I'm going to use folders. Like we've just done the opposite thing. So maybe neither are good, I don't know. I would say just pick whatever you think you're going to like and just stick it out for the year and then buy a new thing. I don't know it's really not that huge of a deal I think something that's nice about uni is that like obviously you can take notes and write things down however you want it's not like school where they're gonna be like you have to draw a mind map right now you know like more free so just roll with it buy whatever you want don't overbuy because honestly like I'll probably end up doing the thing where I've just got one pen loose in the bottom of my bag no I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it I hope you enjoyed this video I have loads of university content coming if you have any video requests for university then please comment them down below and yeah I love you all so much I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next Sunday bye you know that I don't